extra yesterday though that you can plug in a camera kind of and just see the kind of see the front of the of where it's going I see so the Raspberry Pi would run the camera if any yeah. Yeah. we can but, show you we have it running up inside yeah. okay and the and the microcontroller is communicating with the GPS unit and the digital readout there yeah it's communicating with the GPS the compass and the tri-state buffer the tri-state buffer which is running the motors yes okay so and and so the idea here is to make a car that knows where it is and what direction it's pointing so it can drive itself around. Right. Okay, let's now as we can see out into the wilderness here, it's raining today, so that's a lousy day to test stuff outside. But put it down in the small area we have here and, and what should it do if it's in this location? Uh, right now, it's programmed to go over to the parking lot uh, by Sage. So, if... yikes! <laughs> uh, no, it's not. So, um, what are the long wires here? They're a uh, safety kill mechanism. You could wire it so it just goes by itself here. I see. So, this is but... so if it goes berserk, you can turn it off. Yes. Yeah. I got it. Ideally, okay. I was like wondering what this. Is. All right. So, so now you're gonna yeah. turn on the safety switch, and the thing takes off. I don't want and, to too much fun. and but you can go a little bit further because I'd like to well well let's start it in in the wrong direction all right so now it's clearly pointing in the wrong direction does the red light mean it has a fix yes yes the red light okay. on the GPS means that it has a fix oh you're broken down I see your your override wire overrode itself <laughs> okay so so it starts to run yes, and it turns and it turns because it knows it's going in the wrong direction and now it's it's gonna straighten up yeah. and, then, and, and it's navigating yeah all right and it's not actually raining right now well it is okay so we probably <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's about 35 degrees by the way so okay so so run it just a little bit further now and it is correcting. It's running and correcting to to get on the go, go a little bit further here. And you're right at the load limit of the motor, so that's why you're having to push it occasionally. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see it actively stirring. Good. Okay. Let's let's go in now before we short circuit short circuit anything here. So tell me a little bit more about the technology here. So for the GPS, it's NMEA, and so we had to use a parsing device for that. And mm -hmm. what we did was we went online and we actually found someone that parses it, since it's a really tedious way of parsing, since it gives you a long string of like longitude, latitude, the DOP, mm -hmm. which right. is and everything. And then the compass Eric handled mostly. Uh, it's just a regular compass. We made sure that the wires weren't like wrapping around it to interfere with the magnetic field uh -huh. uh, that it got. Where is the compass? Um, Oh, that, oh, okay, That's a little heavy there, okay. Uh, it's an uh, SPI interface to the compass to receive the uh, data and direction from the compass. It takes about 40 milliseconds to get a compass reading. Uh, the tri-state buffer, uh, just regular tri-state buffer, we... We have uh, it toggling, and then from that we set, direct it to the motor to tell whether or not it should be going uh, left, right, or forward. Okay. Very cool. So you've put a lot of stuff on this car, and you're right at the weight limit for the car, and that's why you had to sort of touch it with your foot yeah. so that it go forward. And and the the SD card is booting the the Pi. Pi board. Pi board. Okay. Wow. A lot of integration. Thank you.